Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be an overview of my customized G Pro Superlight. And it literally feels like yesterday that the G Pro Superlight was released, but I can't believe it was already December of 2020 that the mouse began shipping. I don't know if you guys remember, but I had a ton of build quality issues on my original G Pro Superlight, including issues with my main switches feeling a little bit gritty, the side flakes being absolutely horrible, and post travel on my side switches just feeling absolutely abysmal. With the plastic covering the side switches going literally into the shell of the mouse, and over time, the build quality with the newer batches has improved drastically. And the G Pro Superlight is definitely a mouse that made it into my top three. With its default stock setup now with these newer batches, the mouse feels ex extremely good at its respective price point and is typically seen on sale around 120 bucks. So I do think it is a solid price for the G Pro Superlight, but even with all the improvements to the build quality on the G Pro Superlight, the customizations here by Silent G, who modded my mouse, are absolutely phenomenal. The mouse has never felt this good. And despite this mouse now being 48 grams down from 63 grams, I can say that the mouse still feels extremely well weight balanced and it feels like a stock setup. And what I truly love about the customizations here is that this 3D printed base plate actually does have room for two skates. You have a skate that fits the original G Pro wireless, and then you have the G Pro Superlight skate here on the bottom. So it is nice that you have those imprinted layouts for the skates. And the bases actually do come in three colors. We've got a blue, we've got a white, and we have a black. So you are able to take off the base if you so choose and kind of have different colored setups when you kind of want a change in feel or a change in flow in your setup. And you guys are familiar that the original G Pro Superlight does come stock with Omron 20Ms. The mouse, I did have him put Juano pink dots in the main switches. The side switches remain the same. However, he did mod them so that the post travel is not as severe as the still stock setup is, which has improved over time, but again, still is a little bit of post travel, but to give you guys a sound test of those Juana switches. And a look at those modded side switches. So let's talk about pricing. For whatever switch you want to put in the mouse, get rid of those Omron 20Ms, put in something like I did with the pink dots, that'll run you about $20. That includes him desoldering the Omrons and soldering the Juano pink dot switches or whatever switches you choose. I personally think it's worth it. Again, I think the Juano pink dot switches and the G Pro Superlight feel phenomenal. As far as the encoder swap, if you want a different feeling scroll on your scroll wheel, that'll run you about 15. I personally enjoy it. And really that comes into play if you are using your scroll wheel, if you need something that is faster, if you need something that's slower, if you want something that's more tactile, you can choose to kind of customize your scroll whichever way you want, which I think makes it more of an enjoyable experience, especially if you don't like the default scroll wheel. That'll run you again about 15 bucks. For the 3D printed base, it runs 20. And for the weight reduction on the inside of the mouse, it runs you for just a moderate weight change without getting too aggressive, 25. And if you wanna get a little bit more aggressive, a few more grams shed off there, it'll run you about 35. If you do want that custom battery, it'll run you 15. So all in for this particular mod, that I had him do ran me about 95 bucks. I personally, again, think it is worth it. The mouse feels absolutely phenomenal at 48 grams. As far as build quality, the build quality feels just as good as the default experience, but the entirety of the mouse feels so elevated from the original mouse. I cannot recommend you guys trying out a customization and I can't recommend the work and the turnaround time, just the entire experience from Silent G enough. Now putting all things into consideration, the better feeling switches in my opinion with those Juano pink dots that feel absolutely poppy, responsive, tactile, very fast. The better side buttons, not feeling that post travel, not feeling that mushiness and the weight with that 3D printed base, the smaller battery, as well as a little bit of shavings on the internals, the plastic, the excess plastic on the inside of the mouse, taking the mouse down to 48 grams from 63. The mouse still feels extremely exceptionally weight balanced. The mouse feels extremely easy to whip around. And the fact that absolutely nothing was done on the sides of the mouse, nothing was done on the top of the mouse, 
The mouse feels like a stock G Pro Superlite. There is nothing about the base that makes it feel less quality whatsoever. Literally, this thing feels, even with the customizations, as though it is a stock G Pro Superlite that I just took out of the box but just taken to a whole nother level. So I personally can't recommend the changes enough. I play absolutely phenomenally with the mouse in Apex Legends. The mouse to me feels a whole lot better than the stock experience. And again, I think that for the price that Silent G is charging for these modifications, I think not only is it absolutely reasonable, but the mouse is a home run slam dunk. This man is a artisan and all of these changes feel absolutely superb. Well done, Silent G. I cannot, again, guys, recommend this enough. And guys, the 3D printed base is by a seller on Etsy, King 3D Designs. You would be able to do all of this work on your own if you so choose. You just have to have the right skill set, one that I don't particularly have. I would rather go through somebody who knows what they're doing, like Silent G. My experience with him was phenomenal. I don't have any complaints. The turnaround time was extremely fast. And again, the work here was superb. I'm gonna leave all of his information in the comment below. And if you guys go through him, I hope he treats you as well as he treated me. For now, I'm going to continue using my 48 gram G Pro Superlight. The experience has been nothing but a blast. And I hope that sheds some light on the custom process, what you can do, the weight that you can get this down to, and the pricing. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.